Hi, this is um, uh, a mock-up of the Fulcrum operating system to uh, activate or operate an aileron or, or an elevator. What I've done is I've mounted a carbon tube inside the aileron or the elevator, whatever, whatever it might be. The carbon tube just passes forward and then slides inside an aluminium tube. The aluminium tube is fixed by a piece of threaded rod that's epoxied to this ball joint which is then attached to the server. The server is in its mid position straight across so everything is in alignment. When you operate the servo what happens is <coughs> it all pivots around the hinge line which is this black line on the hinge line. So you don't actually have to mount the aluminium tube on anything, it just simply passes through a hole in the back of the spar. And if you can see it, I'm not sure whether you will, but you'll see that as it operates up and down, the length will alter. So, um, and as it lengthens and shortens, it just eases in and out of the carbon tube. Very simple. The only drawback is it's limited by the height of the wing. When it's at this disc, this output servo disc, is actually just under the surface of the skin and just above the surface of the floor, so it cannot go any further. The servo can't come further back this way to shorten the fulcrum point and it also can't have a bigger disc because of the size of the ribs. So your limit is how thick your wing is as to whether this will work. And you'll see, given the sizes here, we only actually get, if we look at the trailing edge, it is actually six millimeters or around a quarter of an inch up and down. So you don't get much throw. And that's where the service gets to maximum output. 